So I posted on LinkedIn last week about how I passed the AWS certified cloud practitioner exam, which is the entry level kind of basic AWS certification. And a few people have asked me about how I prepared for the exam. Study materials was one of the things that I was really curious about and couldn't really find any great resources online that kind of detailed like, this is how I studied for the exam and passed it. So I wanted to go ahead and do that here. So the way that I studied for the exam is basically in three parts. And so I'll take you through those now. Part number one is learning Anki. So Anki is a flashcard system kind of software and it is free to use online and it uses this algorithm that incorporates a piece of psychological research called spaced repetition and it has been known to be one of the most effective study techniques. Basically uh, what Wikipedia says spaced repetition is is an evidence-based learning technique usually performed with flashcards. Newly introduced and more difficult flashcards are shown more frequently, while older and less difficult flashcards are shown less frequently. And so basically what that means is that you are learning new stuff and then seeing old stuff that you already know every so often. And so it brings the old stuff back to the forefront of your mind and breaks this thing called the forgetting curve. I won't go into too much detail because Ali Abdal has a great Skillshare course on this topic. And that is how I first learned about Anki. So to start, I just watched the first section of Ali's course and then went on to the second thing I did, which was to make my own Anki deck. You can post Anki decks online and I wanted to go ahead and make my own for the Certified Cloud Practitioner exam because I couldn't find any on Anki's registry of decks. And so I went ahead and did that. I mostly use the wiki that is kind of free and online about how to prepare for the exam. And so I kind of pulled material from the wiki and crafted my own questions from that, as well as used questions from a few other free resources. I started studying with this deck about three weeks out and it was going well, but the problem with Anki that I found is that I wasn't able to get all the way through my material, even though I started studying pretty early because Anki has this quality that I mentioned of resurfacing old material. And so it just made it hard to get all the way through what I planned. So because I wasn't getting all the way through my material, I realized about a week before the exam that I might be in trouble. And so I decided to buy a bundle of practice tests from John Bonso on Udemy. Now this turned out to be probably the best purchase I made and really the key thing that made the difference for me in my studying. Because when I took the first practice exam, I failed it barely, but I failed it. And and that really kind of lit a fire under me and made me realize that maybe I didn't know everything that I needed to know. Now this exam is much more broad than deep and so it just kind of felt like I couldn't possibly cover all the material that could potentially be on the exam but the practice tests really helped a lot. So this bundle has four practice exams and I failed two out of four or you could say passed two out of four and then circled back around and took the ones that I had failed and that even took the ones that I had passed because the ones I passed I'd barely passed and so this ended up being a really good way for me to absorb the material and get a sense of what real questions are like I found that they were very accurate and really pretty similar to what was asked on the actual exam now that is how I prepared so I started like I said about three weeks out did about two weeks of Anki and did a week of practice tests and I ended up passing the exam with a 94.5. So if you're looking for a path or a strategy to follow that will help you pass this exam, this is one that I found that worked for me. And if anything else, I just hope it kind of gives you a jumping off point and a way to start preparing for this exam if it's something that you want to pass. Now, I'm not gonna go into reasons for taking the exam or what my experience at the test center during coronavirus was like or anything like that. I wanted to keep the scope of this very narrow. And so I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.